Welcome back. This is Monty uh, once again from DPL Surveillance Equipment. Um, considering that DPL has become the de facto or consummate uh, uh, expert on uh, cell phone surveillance and interception, um, we decided to record a video to help you guys out uh, discerning uh, the myth from the, uh, the facts concerning uh, cell phone interception. Um, basically, what we're dealing with is we're dealing with a product that um, is considered illegal by the FCC. So just to make sure that you guys understand the severity of the matter, um, cell phone interception is illegal. The software is illegal to have in the United States and the hardware is illegal. You can't import either into the United States. Uh, the federal government issues uh, jail terms uh, at, at, you know, at, at least 10 years minimum for uh, having cell phone or uh, cell phone interception devices within the United States and trust me I've interacted with various individuals in Washington DC regarding the matter. Um, basically you, you can have the technology, the software or the hardware. The true GSM interception equipment that a lot of you guys hear about and you probably want to get your hands on, it's actually very very prohibitive and very 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 expensive. Uh, if you have a quarter of a million dollars, uh, if you are a federal agency, uh, if you can come up with an a, a end-user certificate that can be verified by the State Department and various government agencies, then you probably will qualify. But short of that, you're probably not going to be buying cell phone, true GSM uh, interception equipment, the type of equipment that allows you to plug in any phone number within a specific region because these, because true GSM interception equipment it does operate on a regional basis. In other words, we have to configure the equipment to operate within a sp specific region. So the, the encryption scheme, the top topography, a, a lot of local issues have to be resolved before you can even deploy the equipment in a specific region. So there's a lot of mythology uh, going around, but, but these are the facts. There are a lot of companies on the internet that will sell you Bluetooth-based uh, in individual cell phone interception software technology most of it, 99% of it is, is um, crap, uh, excuse my French, but it simply doesn't work. Um, you spend more time troubleshooting and trying to get a hold of a company with no contact information. You have no legal recourse. Um, there's very little that you will be able to do. I spend a lot of time troubleshooting other people's problems who've purchased, and I'm not going to mention any specific names, but you've heard them all. You, you buy the software, you load it onto the target phone. You call into the target phone, and supposedly, you know, magic, magical, magically, something's going to happen. You could be able to monitor the cell phone, uh, SMS messages, the conversations, both sides get GPS, GPS related information. A lot of that is 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 um, is, is, is about as uh, risky as going to Las Vegas and and, and blindly betting on, what, on on the, on the first crap table that you come to. So save your money, save your time. There's a reason why these, a lot of these companies, they're located outside the United States, why they don't have contact information, why they don't have the type of technical support that allows you to call and speak to someone. So again, if you do have a problem, most of the time you have no legal recourse. You know it and, and they know it, so, so let, 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 let's all understand that the only thing that you're going to be able to do is, is at the most, you're going to be able to take the SIM card and we have cell phone we have SIM card reader technology on our website. Go to detection devices and look on, I think uh, under detection devices on my website, look under page three, I think, or, uh, and, and, and under detection devices and get the SIM reader professional. That's about as close as any of you are going to be able to get to, to doing true cell phone, uh, any, anything having to do with cell phone uh, or SIM card reading. But um, save your money because the, a lot of the technology uh, that you buy is going to you're going to have a number of problems not 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 a, not limited to call waiting beeps going off so the target is going to hear call waiting beeps cell phones that magically uh, reboot themselves they crash screen freezes uh, some spy phones go through some spy phone calls do not go through properly um, there's a bunch of continual bug updates I've worked with all of the major suppliers of the technology I know them all and I wasted a lot of money on them when I was involved with this and, 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 and I did a lot of troubleshooting and issued a lot of refunds. So save yourself some time and a headache. The most you can do is do a firmware upgrade if you have um, this on your phone. Do a firmware, up, firmware upgrade and get rid of the, uh, the software that's on your phone. Um, look at your telephone bills. Look for um, an, 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 an unusual amount of um, 
text messages on your phone bill. It, they'll probably double. Look, if you can get a hold of, the, of the, the, the person who's monitoring, who you suspect of monitoring, like your husband, for instance, look at their cell phone bill. See if there's an unusual amount of um, uh, text messages um, there or calls to your phone. So uh, anyway, I'm going I'm to conclude this and we'll probably do a part two. But this is the uh, separating fact from fiction in regards to cell phone interception. We'll do another video on uh, detection of, of spyware on your cell phone. You guys have a great day and look forward to having you again on the next session. Take care. Bye.